So I've been getting a lot of comments actually asking about the VDD Toys MP7s. So here they are. All right. So these are um, most likely the same MP7s that we're seeing from other sellers on Amazon. We've just got some different cooler color combinations. And VDD Toys continues to bring out better and better blasters on Amazon. So we appreciate that. But we got here your orange and gray one and your black one. And in fact, I even know there's some other colors of these coming out from different sellers um, in the near future, too. So there's going to be a lot of MP7 options. And I think that's good. It's an overall, it's a good blaster. Um, it's got good components, you know, and, and it's got fairly good FPS and good performance. So let's check it out. Obviously, the orange and gray one is all put together and ready to go. We'll go ahead and kind of assemble the black one where we talk about what comes in the box. So everything you see here is what comes in the box with one of these. All right, of course, safety glasses, right? Make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Make sure you're wearing sunglasses, anything really to protect your eyes, okay? Gel balls, um, a pack of 500 and two, or a pack of 5,000 and two packs of 500. So make sure you soak those properly. You might want to use a better gel ball in these anyway. So if you're looking for like a better one, go towards the Oz gel or the Shrap gel, gel balls. Okay. And again, make sure you soak them properly. And if you don't know how to do that, please watch one of my videos. Um, one thing I've learned too is where I live, my tap water works fine for my gel balls, but that's not always the case depending on what is in your water. So if you run into any problems with your gel beads, especially the better ones, the higher performance ones, the ultra elites, the Oz gels, those, uh, try soaking them with bottled water. Okay, you buy the cheapest bottled water, of course, but try that, and that may help if you're if you're running into problems. Okay, battery, we got a 600 mAh, uh, 7.4 volt battery. It's a two plug connection. White plug for charger, and of course they give you the AC adapter right here that you or the USB uh, charger that you plug into an AC adapter, and then the two-pin JST plug is for the blaster itself. Um, and I'm sure someone will ask, and it's probably been asked about the other ones. This blaster should not have an 11.1 volt battery. Don't try it. I mean, you can try it, but if you break it, that's on you. You shouldn't expect the seller to replace it. Okay. You might be fine for a little bit, but if you use it for a prolonged time, you will strip it out. So you saw where I opened this. This is where your battery goes, right? This just slides off. There's your plug. You see it has a nice metal barrel, and that's good. We don't see that that often in these blasters on Amazon, so that's a nice, shows some of the quality. I'm gonna plug that in. And this has plenty of room for the battery, so that's nice. It's not like a really tight one that we have to try to have a puzzle to get it in there. So we'll put that faceplate back on. They include in a little plastic bag this little bolt that has the Allen wrenches with it. And that just goes right in the top. And then the smaller Allen wrench is the Allen wrench for this one. Okay, just, boop, that's it. Just tighten it on. This one has fairly simple operation, not a ton of buttons on the blaster. So we'll get to that now. Your on off button's right here. Okay. Got your, obviously this flips up and down. These are just static for looks. These buttons do push up. You push them up at the same time and then you can telescope your stock. Okay, and it can lock in place. And then on this side, your magazine release button is really it. And your trigger, of course. So talking about that magazine, motorized magazine, See the connections there. This one's translucent, so you can see inside it. You can see the motor. You can see the wires. So obviously, it's going to pull power, and it's going to fill up that feed tube using that motor. Here's where you fill it with your gel balls. It's nice that this is translucent because you can make sure it's empty when you're done playing. Even if you think you've shot them all, make sure this is completely empty. Leave the door open. Give it a chance to dry out. This one obviously can be inserted in here and that you can leave that door open and let it dry out when it's inserted. Okay, that is important, so do that, please. So that's the only other button, right, is your mag release. Now with this one, this one stays in here pretty good, but I've noticed that if you accidentally push the button, you can sometimes get it to drop, 
and it'll drop just enough so those connections aren't touching and that this isn't feeding gel balls. So with this blaster, you just have to get used to not having your thumb right here. So you either need to put your thumb up here, that's kind of what that's for, or figure out a way place to put your thumb down here just to avoid that release button. All right, last, throw your orange safety tip on, okay? And you're ready to go. Now these accessories, I'm not gonna bother sliding on right now, but this just slides right on the rail. And then they include another Allen wrench for these sights because you're gonna actually need to tighten them down on the rail and the, you're gonna make sure that it needs to go in between a rail because of the bolt. Okay, so there it is, MP7s from VDD Toys. You got both color combinations here. We'll shoot them, we'll test the FPS and see what they come out to. I'm gonna bet they're gonna perform the same as the other ones, but you never know, every once in a while, one of them surprises me. Comments, questions, please post them below. Of course, please like, please subscribe, guys. And of course, please share my channel with your friends and participate in the monthly giveaways. Thanks.